Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong with my next series of videos to uh, help research students to do statistical analysis using SPSS. In this video, I'm going to be looking at how we can uh, do analysis of relationships between two categorical variables. Uh, in my previous videos, I've already looked into experimental designs whereby I looked into the differences uh, between uh, categorical variables in terms of quantitative variables. So from now, I'm looking at how we can calculate categorical and categorical variables together. So let's say I have a uh, data on employees and I want to see if there is a um, uh, relationship between uh, gender and of course the job category right so basically what my my research problem would be that I am saying that um, this company practices discrimination in terms of putting more males in the higher job categories rather than putting the females there. So if the uh, cells that these two categories are going to produce, basically they're going to produce a uh, uh, 3 by 2, so 6 categories altogether. Um, if the frequency distribution in all these 6 categories are uh, equal, then we can safely say that there is no uh, discrimination and that there is no relationship between these two uh, variables because they are all equal. It doesn't matter which gender you are, there's equal opportunity in all job categories. However, if I get to see that there is going to be a um, big slide towards one particular job category for a particular gender, then I can say that there is a uh, relationship. Yeah, so our null hypothesis is that there's no relationship. Our uh, alternative hypothesis or the hypothesis that we want to postulate is that there is a relationship between uh, job category and gender. So now let's go to uh, analyze. We go to descriptive statistics. We go to cross tabs or cross tabulation for short. So we put in the gender, which is a categorical variable in row and we put in the employment category in column. Now just remember that these two needs to be in nominal form. Uh, at this point it doesn't really matter uh, what scale they are so don't worry about this but make sure uh, when you do do your analysis they are measured as nominal, these two. Um, we go to statistics, we want to calculate the chi-square statistics, continue, we go to cells, uh, we want to look at the observed and expected. So basically, if we have observed very different from the expected value, then we know that there is a problem. Let's just pick all the rows, column and percentages total. Um, you don't have to pick all three here. You can only pick, uh, you, you can just stick to either one. But uh, I'm going to pick all three. I just want to show you uh, what these all three represent. And press continue. Um, and uh, you can also display the uh, bar charts. Don't suppress the tables, let the tables come out. Press OK. So here we are. Uh, this is the cross tabulation between job category and employment. There's 474 cases. And um, we can see that we have broken up the gender and then the employment category. Now, just take a look. We have the count, which is the actual observed count. Notice that there are no custodial females. Uh, expected count is basically the formula taken from the row total, which is 216 here, times the column total, which is 363, divide over the full total 474. So every cell has a correspondence. So for this one, 264, 5.4 is 216 times 363 divided over 474. And the chi-square 
uh, calculation basically takes the total uh, difference between the observed and the expected plus altogether and divide over the sample size and we get to see a chi-square uh, uh, chi-square um, value which is down here now looking at the percentages 95.4 percent 0 and 4.6 just basically means this is the row percentages as you can see by row it becomes 100 so within the gender of female 94.55.4 percent are clerical 0 percent custodial and 4.6 manager so this is the row percentage now within the column here you notice that within the employment category of clerical 56.7 percent is female and 43.3 percent is male so this is the column percent and of course total 43.5 percent uh, of 474 are clerical females and that's how we see the difference between uh, row percentages column percentages and total percentages so you can only choose you can only choose one most people actually go for the total but it depends on what kind of story you want to see and uh, if we come down here to the chi-square test we usually report this chi-square test 79.277 chi-square 2 and it is a significant result so we reject our null hypothesis and we say that there is a um, relationship between gender and employment category as you can also see that under female most of them belong to the clerical but the male has higher advantage in terms of the managerial position so that's all for categorical variables if you have any questions please talk to me or send me an email and thank you for watching